Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be an update video on the Campanatus Floridanus. As you can see, the colony has grown a ton since the last time that you have seen them. They have quite a few workers now and even more workers coming soon as you can see with all of that pupae. I acquired this colony about a month ago and you can see that they have just got their second generation of workers. Or actually this would be the third generation of workers. You can see the third actually getting ready right there alongside the fourth and fifth. These queens seem to lay a lot, but they don't lay constantly. I heard they start laying constantly next year, but still, it's a pretty impressive size for literally just being a queen not too long ago. This colony has been eating an okay amount. They've been eating once every week, which is a good amount for a colony this size, and as you can see, it's been doing them rather well. These ants um, are a little bit insane, as in the fact that they are extremely skittish, and whenever they do end up, you know, going out and triggering an alarm, as you can see, like, this worker is just, like, slightly agitated, and you can see her vibrating constantly, which is pretty cool. But the entire colony goes insane. They're almost worse than Formica in this way. In fact, actually, I'm going to show you exactly, you know, how this colony does when it comes to feeding. So I'm going to end up feeding them a cricket in order to show you guys the feeding response that they have. Because honestly, it's pretty cool. So the cricket goes in, obviously it's dead, but there's going to be still some type of moving going on. And you can just see immediately just the craziness that the workers have. That worker is vibrating constantly. All of the workers are just vibrating. The queen is obviously kind of freaking out as well because there's suddenly just a huge attack hormone inside of the test tube. Or pheromone, not hormone. And they're just so food hungry. It is insane. It's just so hard to just like imagine what this colony is going to be like once they end up getting to a few thousand workers, which should be sometime next year. You can see they immediately go in for the attack and then the queen ends up joining in on the feeding. You can see that she's just trying to get it, you know, all uh, apprehended, I guess, would be the best way, you know, to stop the moving. But you can see that she's um, rather confused and doesn't seem to know what she's doing until she eventually takes the bite to the face. Which doesn't seem to do much, but I mean, hey, at least she thinks she's helping. You can see even the queen is doing the weird vibrating thing. It is something that seems rather unique with Floridanus, just the constant vibrating of the workers and queen. It's really unique to them, it seems. Eventually they will all start calming down and they'll just begin enjoying their food, but for now they're just going to be absolute crackheads. Now we can see actually their brood, and you can see they have quite a bit of small larvae and they had some uh, larger larvae alongside some pupae. This colony almost constantly has pupae, which I find is rather interesting. The colony seems to be constantly ready to just keep on expanding, which is something that you don't see very often with Campanatus. Anyways, that will do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it, subscribe if you're new, check out the Discord, Instagram, Patreon, all sorts of stuff like that in the link in the description, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.